for some reason I don't like it here. That's okay. Stay in the cloud for a minute. The cloud is keeping you safe. But remember you also have the white pyramid of light. You can also see it as a white bubble of light or a white suit that is skin tight of white light. A barrier between you and your energy and the astral world. We are here as an observer. Nothing can harm you mentally or physically. There's no leaves on the trees. There's no leaves. They've been burned and land has been scorched. It has. There's no life. No life. It smells dry and Yeah. There's been fires here. Yeah. What else do you see? Or what else do you feel? There's a big ravine, like, like the Columbia Gorge, like a gorge, and I'm on the edge of it, and it's really steep, and it's like the earth has been cut. Yeah. It's been separated. I see. Do you know, are you able to understand how that happened? The subconscious mind should bring that understanding forward to you. Earthquakes. Earthquakes? Earthquakes. I see. Boom. Earthquakes and fires. Earthquakes and fires. And what led to this? See if we can move and use the cloud or the white bubble of light or however you see that energy that is protecting you. Also use it as a vehicle or a means of travel and travel away from that scene moving backwards perhaps even staying in the same location that you're in now and see it transform back through time to an understanding or a place that is before this happened. You have now arrived at a place earlier in the timeline from when this occurred. What do you see around you? We're in a city. A lot of people are outside and they're all running around. They're panicking. Does the city look familiar? Mm, from TV, it's like I'm in China. Okay. It's Chinese writings and stuff. Yes. Maybe it's Japanese. It's that kind of chicken scratching. Yes. Look down at the ground. Can you see your feet? Do you have feet? I'm barefoot. You're barefoot? Okay. Can you feel or see the rest of your body? No. That's okay. Well, from feeling on the inside of your perspective and looking down at your feet, your bare foot, what else can you tell me about the body? Are you wearing clothes? If anything is fuzzy, foggy, or unclear, it will clear up as we speak about it. The subconscious I'm, will bring forward the understanding. I'm wearing... I'm a man. 
a man. Good. But I'm wearing a dress. Okay. Are you? But I'm wearing a big hat. It's like I'm a monk. I have a staff, and I'm sad, and everybody's running around and trying to calm them down. Good. Keep going. Everybody's looking up at the sky. Yeah. Do you look up at the sky as well? No. You don't? Do you know what they're looking at? Yeah. What is it? Ships. Ships? I'm scared of the ships. Okay. Are you scared of the ships? No. I'm trying to tell them not to be. Okay. Do you know what controls these ships or pilots them? Um, they call them ETs, but I don't because I think they've been here all along, so I think that's funny to call them that. Right. But I call them EDs. E They're just EDs? extra dimensionals. Yes. They're just, they're coming down because the earth is shaking. It's going to, it's going to, it's something, it's going to hurt people. Yeah. But they're not going to hurt us. Do the people think that they are there to hurt them? Oh yeah, they always think that. Yeah. But they're wrong. Um, they're here to help us. Yeah. Good. Can you remember? No, I'm sorry. To me. Do what now? Nobody will listen to me. No one will listen. Mm hmm Are you able to remember what they look like? Who? The beings. The the beings that are there, the EDs that are in the ship. Oh, I just I just know they're seeing the ships. Yeah. Have you had contact in this lifetime that you're vi viewing? Have you had contact face to face with these beings? I think so. Yeah. I think so. We'll check on that here in just a second. Uh, if there is anything else important from the scene that you are watching, your subconscious mind will bring it forward now for you to understand or will know that it's time to move from here. Has anything changed? I've seen some strange, I want to say a creature, I shouldn't say that, that sounds wrong, like an entity. Yes. Real long arms and a skinny body, but they're when they don't wear their suits, they just kind of look kinda all different colors, like green and brown and blue, and but they've got skin that's wrinkly like a lizard kind of that kind of texture yes um what other features do you see they're f tall and their fingers are long and they don't have as many fingers yes and their fingers are fat on the end yes do they have any hair? No. Big ears. I think their ears. I can't see their face. And I'm not seeing them in context. I'm just seeing them like they're floating in front of me. Right. Just however it comes to you. Yeah. It's the understanding that is important. They're iridescent. Like, but not in a light way, like in a darker way. Yeah. Like iridescence reflecting on brownish green skin. Yeah. 
Can you see their eyes? Not yet, I can't see their face. That's okay. The subconscious will clear anything that is fuzzy or foggy up for you. If it is important for us to know. Are you able to remember or feel an understanding of where they come from, where they reside? It's okay if you have trouble. It's okay. I know some places and I think I'm putting those in there. Don't don't fight it. Just let it let it come forward. Let it come forward. I want to just say Arcturian. Yes. Okay, good. Go with your gut instinct. Go with the first thing that you feel. Don't don't worry to judge it. We just let it let it flow. And take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Communicated with them. Your understanding of that will come forward. I'll say yes. Yes. Okay. Are you able to understand where it is that they go on Earth, or is it Earth? Feel yourself in the presence of that monk and the knowledge, the wisdom that was retained in that lifetime. Your subconscious will open those channels and give you access to them now. Drift away from the scene that you're watching and move to an important moment or time Move from that place to an important moment or time where something is happening. Something you feel is important. See yourself there now. What do you see? Do you feel? steep hill and one of the EDs is injured Yes. and he's being kept in there and I'm administering what I feel is medical care to try and help him yes and I feel nothing but love when I'm around Good. How he's is got a big head. He's got what? He's got a big head. A big head? I see a big head. It doesn't fit very well with his body. Yeah. Can you see his his skin or what color? That iridescent green. Yes. How is it injured? Like, uh, how, um, how is he injured? Yeah, how is he injured? He's, he's burned. He's burned? His arm is burned. His part of his body's burned. That can't be good. 
It's okay. It's okay. There's something important about this, though, that the subconscious mind wants you to know, that your higher self wants you to know. Bring that forward now. I see him reaching for me and touching me. He still has so much gratitude. When he touches me, I feel him. Like it ignites me, it makes me feel electric almost. Yes. He's dying. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. He's going to give you some closure. And we're going to show you what happens after. Okay? So in this form that you are in, you are seeing the scene through your perspective as well as from an outside and surrounding perspective. And know that this being is sharing positive energy with you. Does the being seem afraid? No. No. Does he, and that's what it's hard for me to understand. Yes. Does he communicate with you? Yeah. Do you know how he does that? It's like a... a heat that comes through his hands and then onto me when he touches me. Yes. It's pink. It's like he's just, he's just full of love. Yes. And that's what he's trying to tell me is that's what we need. Yes. And that, that will save us. Yes. Is he in pain? So, but he doesn't care because his love is bigger. Absolutely. It's way bigger. And he's using his last bit of life to tell me this. Yes. He wants to show you something. He wants to show yeah. you he wants to show you something, Lisa. So, with an understanding that everything is okay and that he does not cease to exist, see that being take his last breath and from the very other side of it, as soon as that breath leaves him, see his spirit leave his body. Attach yourself to it and follow it. Do you see it leave? Yes. Grab it and go. Go with it. Follow it and tell me where it's going. Oh, it's going up to the stars. It's blue. Keep going. Blue. Follow through. What do you see? Triangle. Good. Don't analyze. Just, just relay. You, that's, I'm not saying that was a wrong answer. That was a very good answer. Is it, is it a standing still triangle? Or are you moving towards it? Or 
I'm, I, I'm going up to the bottom of it, it's a ship. Yes. After it enters the ship, where does it go? It's very light and white in here, and there's beings here. They have kind of kind of triangle-like heads, like kind of roundish at top. Yes. What color are they? Right now they just look like shadows because everything's so bright. Yes. Hard for me to see. Allow the subconscious mind to clear it up for you and adjust the light so that you can perceive. Yes. Give them the understanding that we are simply seeking closure. We are seeking closure for you with an understanding of where this being went. You are simply assuring safe passage. And once you received your understanding, we will leave. Are they accepting of that? Yeah, they don't seem surprised at all. Good. Do you feel as if they they've have been opened me. it? They've been expecting you. See. That's what they just said. Good. Keep going. Follow it through. What else do they communicate? What do you communicate? Um, I'm not communicating because I don't know what to say. That's okay. Is that How are you doing? <laughs> ask them. Ask them where they are from. Do they tell you? Ask them what they would like for you to know. What do they tell you? Basically, same. They're like you already know. It's the same old message. Peace on earth. It's they. Yes. They want me to show the way. <laughs> and I, I tell them that, that I, I come across kind of a nut. <laughs> hmm. If I do what they say. <laughs> Can you ask them to reconnect you with your core memories, your wisdom, your truth? Ask for their help in remembering who and what you are and the power that you have. Teacher. Teacher. Not sure if I'm putting that in there though. Don't question it, girl. Go with the flow. Do they tell you a teacher of what? <laughs> uh, they said humor. Humor. Humor is a, a wonderful humor. trait. It's a beautiful tool. Yeah. Yeah. And love. 
stuff. Yes. And they like how much I feel things. Yes. My emotion. Yes. That's what I'm here to do, no matter what people, how they react. As a matter of fact, the more violently they react, the better I've influenced them. Yes. And I'm telling them how hard that is when you get a negative reaction when you're trying to get a positive one. And they're saying that it really is positive because I'm like knocking something loose inside them. Absolutely. So I'm complaining a little bit because it's hard. Yes. And me. And they said that I'm strong. You and that's why they picked me. You are strong. That I'm strong and I can keep doing this. But we have to change the way people perceive reality. And we have to open our hearts. Yes. And not have be ruled by our minds. Absolutely. And since that comes so easily to me, I'm a good one for this, they said. I'm a good one for this. Yes. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Ask them. Ask them to show you your future and what you were meant for. Even if only a glimpse or a feeling. The feeling and the glimpse is channeled. Yes. Being a conduit. And planting seeds of light. Yes. Giving out pebbles and putting them in people of these round lights. And I put them in there. I put them in their heart. I put them in people. A light of fire. A light of fire. I'm a fire starter. Yes. They want me to set the world on fire with love. Yes. So was there a but, ma Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. But that's an overwhelming task, I tell them. You aren't alone. Ask, they said I'm doing a good job. Yes. Ask them to give you an understanding of who is with you and what support you have behind you and with you, throughout you, and into your future. energy bodies around me all the time. Those are what I see out of the corners of my eyes. But there's some bad ones too.
Ask them how you can protect yourself and overcome those things that are negative or lower vibration. They said substance abuse doesn't help. And when I get really upset and I think about suicide, I open myself up to these bad guys. Yes. Anytime I lose hope, I give the darkness a way in. That's important. I mean, to be loyal to myself and not worry about fitting in. to live my truth but I don't have to speak it I don't have to speak the details of it right I just have to be right it and that's enough yes do they have the ability to heal yes that was a quick yes. Ask if they will heal you of these core traumas, of these things that are difficult and lead to these lower vibrational states. Ask them if through their wisdom and their gift of understanding can they heal your energy? Will they heal your energy so that you can transform into the beautiful light that you are meant to be? I said they already did, but I have to acknowledge it that by coming to such a low point that the jump off point for the healing and you can't heal unless you get to that low point and only at your lowest can you achieve your highest but you have to be brave and take the jump and I did so you so they said I have to acknowledge that I did because I'm the one who did is not acknowledging the healing. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that you've hit that point and from that point you can grow? Yes. Then yeah. acknowledge that accept that and see them fill you with their healing energy I just felt chills and tingles all over my body and bright white light really I have goosebumps all over my body <laughs> good good <laughs> Acknowledge again and give gratitude. And give knowledge again and think about the understanding that you have. Acknowledge it again 
and rejoice of the wonderful feeling that you have. And each and they're very funny. Yes. I said, boy, that's just a really difficult way to heal. And they said, we never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> <laughs> they're very funny. <laughs> And they said, the old adage of laughter heals everything is a truth. Yes. That's so funny. And with your humor, there's wisdom in that. Yeah. So I feel so good. Good, good. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. You deserve it. From here you move forward. From here things grow. From here the bad is left behind. Everything is forgiven. You can forgive yourself. You can love yourself. You can feel it now. Doesn't it feel good? You know what, Rob? Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. That's okay. Take like, a minute. Take a minute okay. to ease up. And we will be able to continue after you return. We will slip right back. What? That was weird. I almost didn't make it. That never happens. That's okay. Okay. That Ooh. was part of part of the tension in your body releasing and allowing the return of equilibrium, the free flow. Things become easier and lighter. They move more fluidly. Deep breathing again one more time. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, five, hold it, and let out. One more time, breathe in. Deep, 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 and breathe out. Eyes are back. Yes. Call in the light again, just so we're sure that you're protected. See yourself back in the place that you were in. Back in the presence of those beings, if they will allow. It. Letting them know that you won't take up much of, more of the time, but that we need just one or two more answers before we go. And once you're there, Ask them if they can show you briefly or give you the understanding of the cycle of life and what happened to your friend that was injured. What happened to him? Where did he go? And what does he feel? What does he experience? As you followed him into that ship and he continued on. I think it was an accident. Yes. He wasn't supposed to get her. I get the sense that they've been coming for a while to these, this place. Where I am on the mountain, they've been coming because they know that they're safe here, they're accepted here. That's why he came here for help. Yeah. We've known about them here. We see their ships because we're high up. 
in the mountains, high up in the mountains. I don't leave very much. Yes. When I was in the city, I was floating. I wasn't on the sidewalk. Yes. I was like a foot above the sidewalk. Yes. But I was observing and people didn't see me. Yes. I was just kind of watching in sadness. Yes. Because these people are a lost cause. They will die. They don't understand what's happening. That they could live, but their fear will kill them. What else does it show you? There's a little girl who's looking up and she can see me. She's about three or four and she gets it. Hmm. And she's not scared at all. But she can see me. But it's because she's a kid. Yes. I feel like I'm, I'm not solid I'm I'm projecting myself there yes to observe in this life that you're in you are what we would consider now an ascended master correct huh. yes something said yes Follow that. Listen to that voice. That same voice that just answered. See that voice or feel that voice give you a complete understanding of your life, who and what you are in that lifetime, your history. what happened as well as the future of the ones who do choose to live it's the physical will be washed away Only in the eyes of the fearful, it will remain there for people that love. It will look different, though. Yeah. Like, I see so strange buildings that are clear. that organically come out of the earth, they're like one with the earth. And we don't build them with nails or anything, they just, it's like they're living beings of a different sort. Yes. And they will come out of the ground we will build them in this way. Yes. Are these the same type of structures that have been found on the moon and other planets? I don't know. That's okay. That's alright. Will the ones that choose to love and live 
will they experience hardship or trauma in the transition? Or will it be peaceful? It will be peaceful because in order to ascend, you have to let go. So in letting go, you cannot have trauma. Yes. There's nothing to be upset about. Everyone has their own course. Nothing is wrong. But if you want the experience of ascension, then you take it. If you don't want it, and you didn't sign up for it, you will have the experience of extinction. And you can come back, maybe. Yes. But you won't have the experience of ascension. Correct. The experience is not without its own trauma, but in the end, the experience is euphoric. And no one is truly left behind. Everyone gets their experience. If that makes sense. Will the transition seem to occur abruptly or all at once? Yes. Yes. That's why people are screaming in the streets. Yes. There will be a culmination that for half is traumatic and for half is exciting. I see. The duality of that will implode the world. Yes. Implode the three D reality. So in what way will the higher vibrational transition occur? Can you describe it in your own words? A wave of energy from the space around us will come over our planet and change or reveal the truth of reality. Those that are already there and know it will be blended with this energy. The vibrations will match. But the entities that vibrate lower will destruct. The two frequencies won't match and they're incompatible. I see. And how long <clears throat> do we have to make those choices? Four years. Four years? see and in four years time what will occur time will speed up there will be much many more strange weather occurrences uh, anomalies unprecedented um, people will become more reactive 
in either positive or good ways or bad ways, they will show their true colors as the pressure and the energy from this wave gets closer. People will become more and more true to who they are and won't be able to hide it. Yes. And it will cause people to separate for safety and to find comfort, especially the minority with a group. They will start grouping together for support and to maintain hope and love when everything starts collapsing, including our systems, like government and money, travel, everything will be affected. Yes. And I'm supposed to be one of those people in the minority and we comfort each other. Yes. And it's hard. Yes, it can be. There's a lot of grief over people that we love because we think they're lost, but they're just on their at their own path. Right. And we have to remember that. Not everyone is meant to ascend. Right. What of the young ones? The innocents. Yes. They call them the innocents. The innocents automatically transcend. They automatically ascend to the new world. Beautiful. Because they haven't had a chance to make choices that they are then responsible for. Right. And those choices that were coerced or forced because of structures and belief systems are forgiven? Yes. What matters are your intentions. Yes. And compassion and gratitude are what they're looking for. They want beings that are full of that to teach and give it to others. Yes. They don't want the empty souls. They want the ones that are full and juicy yeah. of emotions. Yes. Um, they're showing me like a straw that has nothing in it and they're, they're pinching it. Most people are like that. But then they took a bug and they squished it all around. They said, that's the kind that they want. <laughs> <laughs> they want them full of emotion and love, especially compassion. And the only way to have be full of compassion is to feel a lot. Because otherwise, how can you feel for other people if you can't even feel for yourself? 
Yes. So they don't want the straws. They want the juicy bugs. And what <laughs> what do they feel of the type of work and intention that I do? You're the biggest helper. They have so much gratitude for you. You open up communication. And communication is key. They they feel that you are an ambassador to Earth and that you create other ambassadors by helping people with their fear. And they have much gratitude towards you and said, you cannot do your work without the compassion that you have. And they said, they, I thank you, Rob, for all your compassion. And we're sorry that you have suffered as you have in order to earn this. But you have earned your compassion and your light. Yes. And you should wear it like a badge. <laughs> I do. <laughs> they said, <laughs> my show's big purple. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, it's very large. <laughs> uh. um, yeah, that's what they said. That's what they said. Thank you. Thank you. I I, ex I extend my deepest deepest gratitude. It's an honor. I will continue this work as long as possible, as deep and as Please wide do. as possible. And they said, "Please do." I invite them to visit. Come visit me. <laughs> I want to see you. I will. I want to see you. Yes. Well, before we part ways with you guys, can you show her the cycle of the afterlife and give her the understanding of what happens after we transcend the physical? so that she may find closure. It never stops. We never die. We just change. We just We go to a meeting room and we talk about our life and our lessons. And we get really excited because we sign up for another one. And another one, and we need to have a lot go, we need to have I'm just 12 and here, 12 lives at one time going. And they're all in different realities, dimensions, even. The same thing. Yes. It's like play. We. He said, if you, if you want to be a dancer in your next life, you can be a dancer. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a singer, you can be a singer. I mean, you can experience anything you want to experience. So, just 
should be celebrated rather than mourned. Do they have yeah. any any other messages for humanity that they would like for me to share through my work? overwhelming sadness a little bit. I don't know why. That's okay. They're sad for us. They're sad that it has to end. They're compassionate too. They're sad that we don't realize how happy we could be. They're sad that no matter what they've done to try and get our attention, we don't listen. And they're It's the other side of the coin. Technology can bring good things, but it's also brought a very zombie-like society about. And they're saying they can't get us off our screens. Yes. We're, we're forgetting about nature. And we have forgotten who we are and that we are part of nature. And that separateness will be our downfall. Is it? And unfortunately, there's nothing they can do about it. Is it too late, though, if enough of us move as one to change and alter our future path? It's not too late for the ones who are already in the fourth dimension and going in and out you know, who see the veil lifting, who get, who understand that this 3D world is not real. The enlightened individuals that, for lack of a better term, just those that see and understand love and its power, they will ascend at the same time that the others will not. We will not see their destruction and they will not see our ascension. And it will happen at the same time. And it, we, we will know it's happened and they will not have the awareness because we have ascended. We will have that awareness. Is this why you were in that scene experiencing it in a form that was not physical? Were you visiting the other side of the coin? Yes. 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 Flip that coin and see the fifth dimensional version. And tell me what that is like. Wow. 
it's orderly. And full of possibilities. Everyone is experiencing and finding joy with their own abilities. Some people are good at levitating. Some people are good at controlling matter. Some people work with sound. Some people heal. Everyone has different abilities. And everyone is connected. Like an empath that I am, I can feel people and if they're having a good or bad day or what's going on, and everyone's like that. Yes. This, what were you gonna, are you, were you gonna say something? They said hate is a mental illness. In the fifth dimension. Yes. It's to be healed. Yes. There's nothing wrong. There's no right or wrong. Everything just is and everything's possible. So there's a lot more play and humor because the mood is so much lighter. And everyone wants to help each other and not hurt or compete. And I finally feel like I'm where I should be. Yeah. Where I've always thought everyone should be. Beautiful. Yeah. This, the scene of this future path of our fifth dimensional existence. Will we experience it as if we have lived a long life? Only in the sense that you'll feel wise. Yes. But physically, you'll feel like a teenager again. Such rejuvenation. Beautiful. The weight of negativity will not be with you. Beautiful. It makes me smile. Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what year are you able to tell us what year that is in that experience? I see 2024. Yes. Are, are we able to ask these beings if they can address and heal you of a couple of specific traumas that you have carried with you? Are they willing to do that? said they can stand by but that it's all up to me I see I know what they mean well with this bridge of communication open with great respect and great gratitude I ask if these beings in their time if they can help to lift you Lisa up and me, Rob, up, lift us up and heal us. Usher us into our powers and our understanding, our wisdom, 
so that we can blossom and bring forth this new beautiful existence. I ask of you with this in mind, may we come and meet with you again in the future for more information. And they said it's a yes, and not only yes, but absolutely. And they have a big pink lotus flower that went from a bloom or a bud that unfolded right in front of me, open in it. <laughs> That's you and I, they said. That's the blossoming. They literally let us blossom. And they said, oh, absolutely. They want us on their team, they said. <laughs> I am. <Yeah>. We are. <laughs> for sure. Yes, we are for sure. Yes. Well, with great love and respect, we will part our ways with you now. I would like to ask at this time, Lisa, for you to drift away with this new understanding. Drift and float away from that scene and that place. Leaving them there where they are to continue on their own path. But also carrying with you, with us, and bringing forward the healing. Carry their energy with you every day carry the understanding that you can connect and speak with them open any channels that will allow you to tr channel and feel that energy from them so in the sense of an experience from a visual perception we are leaving them there to continue on their own path with the understanding that energetically they will remain with us. They will find peace. They will find what they're supposed to find. We will find peace. We will find what we are supposed to find. We're leaving them there to continue on their own journey. Now I want all of the consciousness and personality of Lisa to once again return to the body and fully integrate back into the body. May I speak to Lisa's subconscious, please? Yes. I have permission to speak to Lisa's subconscious? Yes. Very good. I respect the power of the subconscious. Because I know the subconscious takes care of Lisa's body and does a very good job of it. I also know that the subconscious has the records of everything that has ever happened to Lisa in this lifetime and all of the other lifetimes she has ever lived. So I respect the power of the subconscious and I always ask for permission to speak to it and ask questions. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Very good. You chose to bring forward this vision of the future and the possible outcomes, the paths, the understanding. Why did you bring forward all of this information for us today? I, I care so much about these people. I want as many to experience ascension as possible. Because we may lose souls off this matrix. They refuse to lose their fear. And we can't entangle. We can't get all the stuff they've learned unlearned. It's, it's really gummed up. Yes. We've but Lisa Lisa 
she just just don't learn defenses. Yeah. She always open and that's why she gets hurt all the time, but we need her this way. Yes. Can you release? So oh, I'm sorry. She signed up for this. Yeah. She knew it'd be painful. Yes. Nothing great was ever given easily. And she knows this. Yes. Can you heal and release any traumas that have built up over time? Any emotions that are trapped and causing blockages? Can you remove those now? It is difficult with this one. In order to heal, That means not, in your terms, not to feel. And we need her to feel. I understand. And her feelings are important. I understand. So it is complex. Can we perhaps remove the fear of feeling into her emotions? That's the thing with this one. She doesn't feel fear. She feels rejection. I see. Can we address that to heal it? The rejection will continue because she is different. Yes. How can she adapt, though, to protect herself and grow? and find a new, happier, peaceful way of life. For this, she must let go of the relationships she's had, including the relationship she's had to life and she must change her perspective about her life and she will attract new people who will give her companionship that will heal this rejection Yes. But she must be brought almost to the breaking point to find this. I see. Has she reached that place yet? Yes. So from, yes. from here can begin the positive pr progress forward? Yes, and it won't look positive at first but she has to maintain faith and it will come slowly yes can you begin the oh i'm sorry go ahead it's supposed to be hard Can you begin the process of rewiring in the brain, breaking the old neural connections that are causing the misperceptions, the judgments, and the bad behavior that is preventing her from evolving and ascending, and begin to rewire now into the new 
correct pathways that she is meant for. Yes, we are ready for this. Very good. Can yes. you can you do that for me now and start the process? Yes. Very good. Do you need a moment or are you ready to proceed? Just a moment. Okay. Take your time and just let me know when. I have different eyes looking at me now. I'm smaller. Yes. I don't know who that is. That's okay. Can the subconscious mind, can Lisa's subconscious tell us who these sets of eyes belong to and their purpose or their intention? To observe. I know what I'm doing. Yes. What should she know about them? I keep thinking we're not supposed to be there. So close. Like, they're inside of me, yeah. looking at me from the inside, and I just see their eyes. I see. Speaking to the subconscious mind, are these entity attachments that are not supposed to be there? Yes. Can you tell us how, or walk us through, uh, releasing and removing these entities? in a peaceful, loving, and respectful way, and sending them on their way. I will participate. I don't know. I don't know if I know how to do that. That's okay. Just feel it. Feel into it. Can the subconscious give us insight on what we need to do? Is it something I need to do? They don't want to leave because they think of the... Like, I'm their home. But I see them... personality they like me I get the sense that they 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 love me but it's a need like they need me to survive and I don't need them yes they are like a leech or something they're getting something out of the deal but I'm not Right. Well, then, um, um, go ahead. Yeah. Well, in understanding what it is that they need, and understanding that they feel as if they need you, but they don't need you to survive, in your mind, see the place that they will feel at home that is not attached to you perhaps a place that you create for them that is full of 
your personality traits and the things that they love and create a space for them and see that space in a room behind a door the door that opens up to a world of your creation that is separate from you and open that door into that new world and walk them in by the hand and show them and let go of their hands give them love and respect and the understanding that you are not leaving them but that you must part ways energetically and that from this point forward any of the fun loving things that they enjoy you will send to them in this new world but that it is time for you to go it is time for you to grow and that you need the room and see yourself release them see them wander off into that new dreamscape happy peaceful understanding without fear and allow yourself to separate from the weight and the control of those energies as you shut the door knowing that they will be fine that they are happy and that you can now drift away from that with a new free and open full of room sense of peace as you breathe in the peace and the relaxation you breathe out any remaining tensions or holds and let them go are they gone? yeah very good that was beautiful very good can I ask the subconscious mind a, one or two more questions before we part ways the things that stay or have stayed attached to Lisa that are causing the bad images in her mind the things that are affecting her like the wreck that she witnessed can you release the trauma associated with those and give her new peace and understanding and let her let them go and move forward into the light yeah he like like picked up something rough and made all the edges not sharp yeah. and then put it back you can have the compassion now is for the occurrences without the heavy stabs of the sharpness of it and we we'll dull it down so the experience is still there, so you still have the compassion. But when you bring it up, it won't hurt you. Yes. Yeah. Lisa, acknowledge that healing. See it. 
move into your being and accept it. Feel it integrate into your being. And just asking the subconscious mind to do a quick body scan over Lisa and see if there is anything that can be addressed, healed, released, or opened in a positive way that we can give to her today. A recent trauma was I found out that my son got married and he never told me. Yes. And I love him so much. Yes. He's mad at me. okay it's okay feel into it feel into it but don't let it break you know that you have to feel it to let it go feeling it leaves an understanding understanding leads to quantum leaps and bounds Lisa's subconscious or higher self, can you assist her with this and give her new understanding, perspective that allows her to let it go and heal now? It's the basic lesson. Of understanding the difference between the wisdom you acquire with experiences versus the limited perspective and compassion you have with youth based on experience. And your son is only acting like a young man who's displacing blame because he can't take responsibility for his actions yet. And that is his lesson to learn from me. So, in a way, it's a parental lesson that I'm giving him because he's causing himself pain in rejecting me as well. And by seeing by him seeing you overcome that and find peace and still love unconditionally. I am learning the ultimate lesson of unconditional love. It is something I should not just speak, but be. And through that it's a hard lesson, and it will be hard, and it's supposed to be hard. Yes. And through that, he will see, and it will spark a seed of light in him that will grow. Yes, you are right, Rob. Yes. Thank you. Are there any last messages that you would like to give Lisa now before we part our ways for today? Hang in there. 
I'm hearing hang in there. Don't give up. And they said, listen to Rob. <laughs> I'm going to stick around, I promise. Yep. They said I'm doing everything right. There is no wrong. And just, just to relax. And everything will be okay. Absolutely. And any time that you need an ear or a friend, or someone to hear you, reach out. I am here, and I am building a network of fabulous people with amazing gifts, full of love. They said that I've been asking for help and that you are a, a help option that they guided me to, that they are listening and I need to, I listened and you are here to help me and they guided me to you so I need to just keep listening. Absolutely. And I will continue to help in every way that I can and continue to expand and grow upon this work with my colleague, my friends, my soul tribe. Is Lisa meant to be part of what I am forming? What is her superpower? Is it channeling? goes both ways. I bring it down and I bring it up. So yes. I am meant to help them understand how we feel because I'm easy to tap into for them to feel through me. They said I'm easy. <laughs> and It's harder, but it'll get easier for them to continue to talk through me. And any time that we need to reconnect, or any time that you wish to reconnect and send message to us, if you will push that energy and understanding through Lisa, to reach out to me, we will come back in this way to speak again. It is agreed. Very good. Very good. And very lastly, because it just popped into my mind with a compassion and an understanding from the perspective of someone who has been through and still at times battles with substance abuse or addiction even the mental thoughts and the emotions that come with it can you help by healing that aspect of Lisa to begin a new way of life new integration of healthy choices, healthy thoughts, healthy emotions from this point forward. Help her to overcome what seems at times impossible. But to step in and be there for her when she needs the extra charge to get through. Yes, that's well said. Very good. Thank you. It is a charge. And, and 
a high, yes. an energy injection. Yes. Yes. Very good. Is there anything else before we leave for tonight? I will see you again, Rob. I'm sorry? I will see you soon. Yes. Who who is I? Who is the I that's speaking? I want to say Mantis. Mantis. Okay, very good. And how how should I expect you to come so that I know it's you? I am always on by your side. I believe in your work. And I help you with your healings. Is that you if that you I... your shoulder, you will feel me there. <laughs> left shoulder or right? <laughs> your left shoulder. My left shoulder. Very well. I will. I am very tall. Yes. You will have to look high. I will. You are a fledgling that I see in an infant stage that is juicy and ready to burst. And your growth will be fast. So be prepared. I will. I invite you to stay with me, even in physical form, if you wish. I can only maintain that for a short period of time. I understand. When it comes to that, Rob. I understand. When, when can I see you in physical form? For a short period of time, but just for the face-to-face -face encounter, for that new experience for me. I understand if it is a process. I respect that. It happens only when you're ready for the information. I see. The human psyche is fragile, and we don't want to disrupt your work because it's important. I understand. So don't let your personal aspirations override your professional agenda, which is so important. Very well said. And if you can keep your priorities straight like that, we will appear on many occasions for you. I see. Thank you. I look forward to it. I invite... We look forward to it, Rob. We hold so much love for you. Thank you. I invite you from here forward to interact with me energetically in any way that you need. If it is of service to humanity, if it is of service to a higher purpose, work through me. Use me as your conduit. All your work is of service because it allows people to open their minds. Yes. And without you knowing when you open one mind, 
it sparks others to open through an energy opening. It trickles down, so to say. Yes, that makes sense. It helps others open. The more open light begets light. Yes. Yes. Well, I greatly, greatly appreciate and am honored to have been able to spend this time. And I am eager and look forward to being able to speak again. I will continue my work. And me and Lisa will continue our communication to grow and learn and understand each other, to be of support to each other to integrate this new way of life into humanity and the planet in the best way possible. I ask for you to stay with us in any way that you wish. I ask the subconscious to continue the healing processes that have begun to open the channels more wide each and every second to let the floodgates of white light and pure love and new energy flow in to step in to the future, to let go and absolve the past, to shed the densities and the sin. At this time, I ask that all of the consciousness and personality of Lisa to once again return to the body and fully integrate back into the body completely. It is very important that you remember that everything we have spoken on and learned about and received insight and wisdom on is for the purpose of healing. In that way, it is healing. None of it will bother you in any way, mentally or physically, as you listen to the recording, go back over the material and put things into place. Here in a moment, we'll give this time to stop running. If you need to reach over and click the button, you can. There it goes, cool. Into place nicely. So now that all of the consciousness and personality of Lisa is once again fully integrated back into the body, replacing all the other parts we were speaking to, yet integrating them in as a whole, I want you to move up, up, up through time and space and orient yourself back into the present day and time. You are lying on your bed in your home and you just had an interesting experience. I want you to remember that the present life you are living now is the most important life of all because it is the one you are focused on at the present time. Any information we can find in this way is valuable, but it will not bother you in any way, mentally or physically, as you understand it and put it into place. That is very important. It will not bother you in any way. Now in a moment, I'm going to count to ten. And on the count of ten, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over, as though you've had a nice nap or a nice sleep. You'll feel truly rested and refreshed. All of this new and beautiful information will continue to integrate and grow within you. Now follow me up as we go, and on the count of ten, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. One two you're beginning to breathe a little faster your blood is beginning to circulate a little faster because you're beginning to wake up now three four you're becoming aware of the physical body very much aware of the physical body five six you're becoming aware of the sounds in the room and the sounds outside of the room you're very much aware of your physical surroundings you're oriented back here in this time in this place and you're beginning to wake up now Seven, eight, you're coming up very nicely now, very nicely. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. 
how do you feel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Do you have conscious memory of the conversations that we just had? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very much. Good. I didn't really leave the room. I mean, I was aware that I was here. Yeah. Do you remember getting up to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, because I, I literally didn't. I almost didn't make it, and it's just a short <laughs> distance. <laughs> I thought that was. I felt like a little kid, like I was gonna pee my pants, you know. <laughs> That's it's it's happened. It's happened to a couple of times. The the ones that the ones that I come across like you that really tap in, they have like. Like yeah, it it hits. I I don't know if it's it's like a the energy begins to flow again, or you know you're you're purging I things, know. or. But I went like I had three cups of coffee. My goodness yeah. gracious! <laughs> I, I, had, I had a set of sisters from New Zealand, and both of them I did their sessions back to back, and both of them had it hit them like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. This well, was, some of the, this was some of the things I said. I don't know where you know they're just I, like you said. It's it's weird. It's like a feeling. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very much. And I thought I would hear something, but it's not a hearing. It's a. It's just a knowing. It's an understanding. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and you're able to, it's like you, you transcend time and space, and you are able to understand and tap into the wisdom and the beings, the entities, every everything that is there exists yeah. in that space. Wow. This you know, was, Rob, can I ask you something? Yeah. yeah. How in the heck did you ever get into this? I mean... I'm welding, uh, and then, oh, I think I'll hypnotize people. <laughs> I, I mean, how I did hit, it happen? I hit the rock fucking bottom one time. 